To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Water shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows. The soldier works out his victory in relation to the foe whom he is facing. Thus the expert in battle moves the enemy and is not moved by him. Be extremely subtle even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. To win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. When one treats people with benevolence, justice, and righteousness, and reposes confidence in them, the army will be united in mind and all will be happy to serve their leaders. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected.